Hey everyone, welcome back for more XO Zero's content. Today's video, we're going to discuss a review, a guide, and the gameplay for FC Schmidt. But before that, if you want updated XO Zero's content, please hit the subscribe button. It's down below. Okay, guys, so here we are with Schmidt. So here is his hero profile. So he hails from the nation um, Vagabond. Okay. He is actually a light element. He is a he has a attack in terms of position and his attack type is physical. Okay, take note his age is 42, pretty much in his you know in his prime and is pretty ripped to wreak havoc on the battlefield. So for Schmidt's stats, basically his strength is actually going to be hp which is average attack which is high hit which is average as well because you need his hit for his s2 and his attack speed is high attack at his attack speed is actually cru crucial because he needs actually to go first and apply prey and the rest will have to follow him so that is why his attack speed should be further increased as well and also his hit has to be increased above is now average stat okay so but for his weakness um he is more or less below average for defense um this this is the only uh, way i see which mid in terms of defense because um you need to actually more or less improve his defense because of master's footsteps for you to affect you know have that effect with with with, with your other teammates you need to have the highest defense so again it would be a challenge for you to increase his defense um while you can i'll explain further later but his dodge again is low critical hit is low block is low and that's uh yeah so basically that's it so four four good stat and four bad stats okay so in terms of his skills let's go over his passive first so basically he has counter three so counters upon taking damage gains one mana if target dies and gains one mana if the health of target is 70 percent or more so standard for schmidt flow mana as a general he gives mana especially to the back rows permanently gain this is usually every turn um and he i'm sorry this is actually every round so he basically gives mana to himself as well. So in terms of corruption, so corruption mark, it's a mark. Increases own attack by 20% for 7 turns upon receiving health regeneration, regeneration effects can be stacked up to 5 times. So more or less an example, a very good example for this one would be Dorka because of Soul Bond. Um, so basically Dorka gives him um health regeneration as long as dorka has the highest attack of the both of them so this is actually a good one this actually increases his attack by 20 percent stacks up to five times which gives him a maximum of 100 percent this is crazy guys right very crazy next would be his master's footsteps this again was the one that i explained earlier grants master footsteps to an all ally with lower defense than a caster so again you have to improve his uh kind of you know low or average defense it's actually below average improve this by unleash potential number one um number two would be gear number three would be you have to awaken him with uh with blue blue frost uh frost uh, frost element and also you have to make sure that that you get friends to help you with core memory so but there are others as well that you can you know boost up his defense but more or less those are the examples where you can boost his defense okay next would be prey to so afflicts target with prey mark when an attack hits his passive is actually very long okay does not apply if the target is schmidt so cannot apply prey to another schmidt on the other side resets turn for allies except for self with master's footsteps when attacking an enemy mark with prey can be activated one time per hero each round okay so more or less this is why you need to make sure that your 
other teammates or allies have lower defense than you. He needs to he they need to be affected by master's footsteps for them to make use of prey. So this is one of his insane skills that he has in his kit and the lists the sorry the list keeps growing and growing. So we're going towards Guardian. Okay, for Guardian more or less um reduces own receive damage by 90% when all allies except the caster with master's footsteps are marked okay so for those who are you know have master's footsteps and are still alive so it reduces own damage by 90% when allies except the caster again as master's footsteps so again very self explanatory he survives well when he has other allies with master's footsteps that's it so again crazy crazy kit i don't know where they got his kit or how they were planning to make this kit but this is really really absurd crazy dark blood command debuff again this is one of the things that will make tantalo cry so dark blood command debuff if there's an, another living ally marked with master's footsteps besides self decreases attack and defense of the enemy that activates a damage immunity effect and enemies in the same row by 80% for 15 turns. So not only Tantalo gets affected by this, if if I may predict the front row would look like um, Talia, Iris, and Tantalo. So all three of them will be affected by the decrease in attack and decrease in defense by 18%. So this is actually bonkers, guys. I tell you this this guy has been you know has been training a long long time for this so he's come prepared so more or less this is a you know this is a headache and more or less this applies to anyone who pretty much triggers um, damage immunity so I'm sorry Tantalo you're going to you know you're gonna have to step aside and let Schmidt pass through Okay, and his last passive would be Faith Destroyer. So special if the caster has Condemn Mark. Condemn Mark, by the way, is given by his S2. We'll discuss more on that later. So it destroys two random Guardian Stones from target upon attacking and removes all Condemn Mark from self. Again, this is one crazy ability that actually would, would be a problem for the current for your current set of Guardian Stones. Let's say for example. You have a setup of four red and the others would be random, you know, just like uh, let's say blue or green. Blue and green, for example, for the fifth and sixth. If, for example, your red are taken out and this guy hits you when he has condemned, then goodbye. Goodbye. No one is really safe when Schmidt is around in the other team. So again, run for the hills. Bring your wives, bring your babies along with you because Schmidt is coming to town. Okay, so we move on to his S1. So S1 is Evil Destroyer, required mana is 3, deals 178% lifesteal damage to all enemies, and heals his own health by 100% of the damage dealt. Crazy skill, crazy beautiful, and crazy, again, crazy S1. Okay, I, can, I can't express so much, you know, so much craziness in this guy because he's more or less what everybody wants right now. So again, very, very good S. S1 plus S1 gives prey. So take note of that. So for his S2, more or less, it's called Dark Blood. Requires 5 mana. It's a crazy burst spell. Deals 1,050 damage to an enemy. Grants Condemn Mark to self if target dies. Again, this is where you get con Condemn. And this hits like a truck. Really. Takes out your first Guardians easily without their shields. And, you know, he's basically a Swiss Army Knife. Schmidt. I don't blame, you know. I don't blame you guys for summoning him. I summoned him too. So we go now to his unleash potential. So more or less, Schmidt's unleash potential. This will need work. 
mine will need work because I haven't opened it. I haven't, you know, I haven't taken him into consideration. So for his, if you finish his stamina tree, which it, which enhances his HP, more or less he will get uh, what else? He will get uh, grants mana to self when the round starts. Again, more mana to fuel his S2 spell. For this one, he gets resets turn one per round if mana owned is under three and kill hits. Again, turn reset. And for his attack, he gets another turn reset. Okay. Which one should you prioritize? Well, give a guess. It's going to be defense because of his master's footsteps and prey. So again, grow further. You have to finish first defense, then stamina, then probably attack. Because he, he also needs to survive as well. So again, the best uh, sequence would be defense, stamina, and then attack. So let's take them into PvP. So this is just a sample of what more or less he could do. He actually has a lot of passive skills and it's actually very ridiculous. Um, let's try to let's try to give him as much, you know, highlight in terms of his support. So right now I'm going first with Dorka with her S2. So let's wait for Schmidt's a turn. So Dorka is here because she actually gives a health regen to to Schmidt which in return increases his attack as well so that is actually in his seize passive so dorka will be able to affect this one uh corruption but we'll go first with his s2 because we're going to run out of time later so more or less this is just to give prey to everyone as long as the skill hits so again you need to have a higher hit for for Schmidt for this to happen so triggers damage immunity so I guess they have lower let's see so see um, once Tantalo triggered the damage immunity effect now he has decreased attack and decreased defense so you can see the effect of Schmidt right off the bat um, and he is actually devastating. Uh, decreased attack and decreased def uh, defense is actually very big, especially for 80%. So right now, it's Summer's Blessing, but my next attack, I think, would do it. So for, for, for Janai, she has lower defense than Schmidt for this lineup. I think she'll have another crack at it. Yes, they do. So again, another S2 which actually shows you how powerful Schmidt is. So you can really exploit his, his what do you call this? His um, turn resets. Um, I think also for, for what do you call this? For FC Shell, she can actually have her turn reset later. So right now, Tantalo is not feeling well. He's not really feeling well in terms of what has happened. Why has my attack and defense gone down? So. Basically, Schmidt has crippled him so much that it leaves, you know, it leaves his whole team very, you know, very annoyed or very, what do you call this? Let's go with the, uh, let's go with the uh, S2 for Shell. Let's have another turn reset for, for Schmidt. I think, I think his stories is actually a good, uh, good uh, pairing in terms of Schmidt and Janai and Shell. So I'm trying. I'm, I'm going to try to build this one. So we're going to try to kill one enemy here. So let's try to kill uh, Rera, so that we could have Condemn for his S2. Then, when he has Condemn, he can break Guardian Stones actually, as long as he hits, and he has damage immunity. Okay, so sorry for that. So anyway, um. More or less, again, um, even if you lower down the attack and defense of Tantalo, he still gives damage immunity. So that's actually what he brings left, what he gives left. Because um, more or less, with him lower down attack, lower down defense, he's actually paper. You can actually just cut through it right through him and eliminate him quickly.
and the rest of the team will eventually be vulnerable. So if you can see here, we're about done. We'll have another match after this one and try to try to have another go at Schmidt. I like this team actually because it gives me a lot of flexibility. This is not actually my main team. Although um, Estoris Republic uh, composed of Janai and Shell has been has been one of the you know one of the strongest heroes that i have but again if you can see schmidt actually makes them pretty much better easier to bring they're not my, my, you know they're not my top uh, top tier heroes i usually bring wasted red but as you can see they actually do the job anyway so i'll i'll, I'll go with another team here let's see Okay, so let's do this. Um, this is without. Um, let's do another team. Let's check out um, another team with uh, with uh, here. Let's try this one if we can handle this Lenombe team. So uh, more or less, um, I think the weakness for everyone would be Lenombe now that Schmidt is here. So we'll try to have a you know a a match up with Team Lenombe. See if we can hold on to the initial onslaught and we can let's see i don't think i'll survive if i attack so let's hold off on his on her s1 because i'm sure there there will be a lot of counters and she'll be dead see so even if i didn't go there it's a lot of damage still so let let we'll let loose um schmid for his uh s1 to give prey so that we can actually retaliate there you go quite a bit good damage um i know he can actually hold on to the onslaught so let's uh who's next so we have baraka from the opposing team um let's just hope that i can weather the storm and have a counter attack and probably you know exploit uh, exploit uh, master's footsteps and prey i have charm with them although that is actually a plus for me um so i just have to weather this one this lenombe team is actually insane in terms of attacks they're so relentless and plus schmidt um see they're actually attacking a lot and I don't know if if my team will still survive this onslaught. See, I'm only left with battery, and I don't know if I can still, you know, win this one. So again, um, you can see there the the onslaught of Schmidt going first, giving prey, and the others really attacking multiple times, and that's actually the key for you know the key for the number right now and they're going to be a headache they're going to be they're going to be tough in terms of pvp to beat i don't know what what will line games come up next so more or less um we'll just have to weather the storm of the number because even with this team i can't even you know i can't even survive um i only have two left and they're hanging by a thread so again, more or less, this is a done deal for the opponent. I'm going to, no, I'm going to be decimated by this one. So just, I'm just actually waiting for, for this to be over. So, okay, so you probably noticed that the second match didn't finish. So my emulator um, just gave up on me, and I, well, you know that match. Uh, would have we would have ended in a loss anyway so anyway let's move through with his um, recommended guardian stones so again for schmidt i would recommend to for you to awaken him with so what i did first was um initially awakened him with a frost set so all frost six so it gave him a 700 defense to bump his defense up Another option would be Darkness Set because Darkness Set would give him definitely a defense maximum of 500 plus a hit of maximum of 12. Hit because again of his S1 because you need it to apply Prey. 
Okay, so these are the two options that you actually would need if you want to bring Schmidt or if you want to awaken Schmidt in your lineup. More or less for equipped um, stats, there are a lot of combinations now. More or less, I'd go with either with three Frost to give him more defense and the others would be random. Or you could give him four, you know, four, four HP, which is red. Um, then the two others would be random. So more or less, take a pick um, on how you're going to build Schmidt. Um, because again, he needs to prioritize defense for him to be a, you know, an impact for his team. Okay, for synergy with other heroes. So, so far from what I've seen when, when my team was kicked out the door, um, more or less the best fit for him hands down would be Linombe. Most most of you guys know that because Schmidt was already existing in some Linombe teams, but now it's actually very obvious. Um, he is paired best with Linombe. Number one, because he actually has a high attack speed. He could go first, he could apply prey, and more or less for the heroes of Linombe or of the team, more or less most of them have low defense. That is why he is the most I think he's he's the missing piece for Linombe. Um to be to be honest with you. So more or less um, I'm gonna hate this for a very long time, but I'm going to have a big trouble with Linombe, especially with Schmidt around. So more or less Linombe best fit so far. Okay, again, if you want to splash him with other, you know, other teams, make sure that you have low defense heroes or more or less you have leveled Schmidt up, especially for Signature Force and the others like Core Memory, Gear, Awaken. So all of the things that you have to increase his defense, do that because um, your, your teammates should have lower defense than him. Okay, and he is an attack type character, which is very, which he is actually very hard. He, he, it's very hard for him to increase his defense because his base stat for defense is actually below average. Okay, and um, he is actually good as well um, in terms of his um, prey and master's footsteps. For the turn reset, he works well with heroes with skill effects like silence or stun. So they could actually stun a couple of people in a row or uh, silence a couple of people in a row. So more or less very good with heroes that have skill effects. Next is my overall rating. So um, out of five, five being the highest. So start off um, for stat, basically for stat, more or less I'd give him a five because you can't expect pretty much uh, uh, a perfect stat, but more or less he has hit um, what he needs to hit in terms of stat. Attack speed is very good. Attack is very good. Although defense is below average, but it can, you know, with a little bit of tweaking, you can mediate defense. So I'll give him a five. Ridiculous stat, um, spot on in terms of uh, what he really needs. Okay, for playability in content, um, you could never go wrong with him. Um, he's pretty much very good in, in PvP. Again, as you as long as you build your team right, even if you splash him with with uh, with a with a non Lenombe team, he will actually perform well. Um, again, it depends upon how you design your team. Um, you can actually exploit uh, Master's Footsteps and Prey uh, with any team that you have. Okay, for synergy with other heroes, again, um, I was thinking about giving him a 5, but I ended up giving him a 4.5 because he actually synergizes with almost any team. Okay, for my final thoughts. So basically for Schmidt, oh my god. He's a beast of a villain. That's it. Very, a really, really bad guy, a bad man that has everything that could that anyone could ask for. So hands down, I think one of the best heroes now in the game. Kick Tantalo aside. Tantalo was the, one of the best. You know, he kicked Tantalo to the curb. Okay. Number two, his kit has everything. 
guard with stone brick, self heal, anti damage immunity, high damage single target skill, you name it, he has it. So he's like a Swiss Army knife. And my last opinion is that I think after a few months, line games or exo zeros will have another counter for this guy. I'm sure. So um again this is what they do they create a super strong character fc then after that after a while they would just give they would just release another counter to you know to the current meta or the one that's you know um shaping the current meta anyway you guys stay safe take care this is the warden and i'm out of here